Hello, I'm John Morris with the Peoria Riverfront Museum. And this is the time of year that on behalf of our board of directors, all of our advisory councils, our visionary society members, our members and the staff and volunteer of the Peoria Riverfront Museum, this is the time of year we like to come together and make a report. Sometimes we've done it in person, but this year we will do it virtually. And the report is called the State of the Museum. So let me tell you from the outset that despite all of the headwinds we faced, despite the bumpiness of this past year, the state of our museum is strong. 4,300 members support this museum and 150,000 people in this past year have come together to experience the mission of this museum, to inspire people, to build confidence, to unleash the full talent and genius of every individual. Together, this museum is not just a building, it is not just an exhibition, it is not just our collection. More than that, this museum is a community of people who seek to inspire each other and be inspired by each other. Let's take a look back at this extraordinary year, and it was extraordinary. We began last summer with one of the most popular exhibitions of our history, Art of the Brick the Lego art of the most famous Lego artist in the world, Nathan Sawaya. We followed that up with our first ever exhibition in partnership with Alice Walton's foundation, Art Bridges, who helped us work as the first museum in the country to do this through Art Bridges with the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City. We brought from the Whitney some of the most important contemporary photographs ever produced in America. And then our planetarium team and curator Renee Kerrigan helped bring together an exhibition we curated ourselves on the 50th anniversary of the lunar landing. Moon was an exhibition those of you who saw it will never forget. It featured the 13 foot in diameter originally produced work of art that we now own and will be featured in our lobby. We brought Leonardo da Vinci, the genius, on the 500th anniversary of da Vinci's passing, the greatest genius of the Renaissance, perhaps of human history. More than 100 different inventions of Leonardo da Vinci and the most exact replica of the Mona Lisa on Earth. And then came the COVID shutdown. We lost just the last week of Leonardo da Vinci when we had to close the museum, but we immediately turned to the virtual Peoria Riverfront Museum and we have provided hundreds of hours of virtual programming through digital resources, through social media like Facebook and Instagram. The virtual museum will stay as we begin to reopen this museum in the coming year, July 1. And as we look to the future, we see big things coming. Guitar, the instrument that rocked the world I mentioned, and then Peoria will be among the first in the country to show the quilts of Ken Burns here at the Peoria Riverfront Museum in the winter of 2021, thanks to Flo and Sid Van Wert. And on the horizon, arguably the biggest exhibition we've ever had, T-Rex, the ultimate predator, sponsored and presented by SefQ. So as we look out into the future and we look into the past, the state of the museum is strong. Let me tell you a few other things that we've done. This summer, we have taken the Oberhelman River Gallery and we have freshened it up with an incredible new look made possible by the Taylor French Decoy Fund established by Bon and Holly French here at the museum. This new river gallery features the Center for American Decoys and the private collection of Thomas K. Figge on display now for the first time ever in the way that you will see it and we have brought in America's foremost wildlife photographer, thanks to PDC, who helped us bring Thomas Mangelson photographs, including the most famous of all wildlife photographs, the great grizzly bear in Alaska in 1988, about to catch that salmon in its mouth. This summer, right now, we are featuring beautiful exhibitions from Ken Hoffman, 50-year retrospective of the most important expressionist artist that our Central Illinois community has ever had. Then we turn to the most important modern sculpture 
in our community, Sonar Tide at the Peoria Civic Center, designed by famous architect Philip Johnson. The Sonar Tide is little known to be by one of the most important modern sculptors of American history, Ronald Bladen. So our chief curator, Bill Conger, brought together from the estate of the late Ronald Bladen, an extraordinary exhibition that will help us understand who Ronald Bladen was and why his last and largest sculpture here at the Peoria Civic Center is worth us celebrating. Finally, we look to the immediate future with the absolutely extraordinary installation of the work of Preston Jackson, Bronzeville to Harlem, an American story. We'll bring in dozens of small bronze characters that Preston has made over the course of 25 years. More than 100 pieces in total. A small city will be brought to life in the spirit of uplifting our beautiful diversity of our country. In Bronzeville to Harlem, an American story opening later this summer. This year, we also brought thousands of students physically into the museum, and we have kept, even during this virtual museum era, our Every Student Initiative. The Barton Family Foundation and many other donors helped us launch the Every Student Initiative three years ago. And today we are so proud that tens of thousands of students have had curriculum related visits as part of the Every Student Initiative. So as you can see, the past is strong, the future is hopeful, the inspiration will continue as the Visionary Society members continue to support us, the members of the museum continue to give gifts, our board of directors and our advisory councils continue to work hard to make sure that Peoria has the only museum of art, science, history and achievement in the nation. We thank you for all of what you do to support the Peoria Riverfront Museum and to keep the state of our museum strong.